Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you're listening. Today we're going to be looking at what sold on Poshmark in the month of October. As you can see from the tabs along the top, I have pulled up several of our Poshmark sales to talk to you about. I had a few bundle orders, some plush that sold, and some highlights and brands I want to talk about specifically with you, as this is a teaching channel. How do I pick? Well, what I do is I go to my List Perfectly catalog, and I sort it to show me only those items that have sold on Poshmark. And then I go to the updated column and make it descending so I can see when the items were marked sold and I can kind of see all of my October sales. And then I can go to my orders on Poshmark and open the tabs individually to show you the ones I want to talk about. So let's just jump right on in with this Disney store. Dante from Coco. This plush did not take very long to sell at all. In fact, I feel like he was in a plush unboxing himself in October, and then he sold them the same month. Uh, it could have been the end of September, but he did not take that long once he was actually listed. He's kind of really super cute. And I did look up his breed, which I cannot pronounce. But that is it right there, highlighted in blue for you to read. I did look up his breed to throw that in the title just to see if it would help sell him. He sold for $16. Remember when I tell you the prices on Poshmark that they do pay an additional fee for shipping. Sweetheart Dream Bear. So this is a Walmart branded bear. And I've talked about Walmart plushies before. I like Walmart plushies, especially the holiday ones. I've always done really well with them. It's kind of because they're limited, I believe. The limited or exclusive, whatever word you want to use. But every holiday, Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, Halloween even, Walmart will come out with some plushies. And then after the holiday, they go away. And the next year, new ones or different ones come out. So if you saw one you liked or you're trying to find a replacement for one you liked, they're not going to ever be sold again. This one's really cute. So he's a conversation heart bear. He sold for $20. A Pottery Barn Elephant. I like the Pottery Barn plushies. I typically do pretty well with those. And the Ikeas, to be honest. A Siegfried and Roy White Mangle Tiger. This one just came out of a plush unboxing as well. So some of these plush are actually selling pretty quickly. If you watch the plush that sold on eBay video I came out with last weekend, um, I mentioned that several of those plush had just been listed as well. It could be that we're in Q4. And this is kind of like the time of year where more people are looking for stuffed animals to give as gifts, I guess. Um, but a lot of our plushies are selling very quickly. I'm not going to let myself get used to it because we all know that plush are long tail. They're the slowest category to move. They take forever. But right now they're moving quickly, so I'll take it. So all of these plush that you see here, I did get in wholesale lots. So they were like a dollar, maybe two. Next, we have American Eagle. I love American Eagle. It's one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I get them all the time for 99 cents when I pick them up at the thrift, or they'll come to me in thread out boxes, and those can average out to like $1.11 to $1.80 per pair, depending if I got a sale or free shipping or anything like that. Thread up does often run specials, and when they do, I buy extra. Um, like, I just recently bought three 50-pound boxes because they had a coupon code in October. So whenever they do the 15% off, 10% off, or free shipping, I always buy, like, a lot. So these are American Eagle size 4 Dream G. They sold for 16 These are U.S. Military Desert Camouflage Pants. I had a couple pair of these. I had gotten them um, in Florida, I believe, so these took a while to sell, like a year. I got three or four pairs that were 99 cents at the little thrift store right around the corner from where we used to live. I talked a little bit about that in this week's What Sold video about the Wrangler shirt. Their most thrifting in Florida was 
just outrageously priced. It was really hard to thrift there. But we did have this little thrift store around the corner from me. And like once a month, they would clear out all their old stuff and put it on a rack for 99 cents. So I grabbed four of these. These sold for 20. Levi's women size 12. Um, these are Levi's signature. So they're the lower end Levi's and they're not that great of a uh, size, but I would still pick these up all the time, every day. Sold for 20 bucks. Lucky Brand Men sold for 16. So I would sell these for around 25 to 30 on eBay. I would have them up for 15 plus $10 shipping. So that's right around the price I would want on eBay. Men's clothing, you can always ask for a little bit more. You can price them a little higher. We have Madewell's. So these would be about 30 on eBay. I would charge like 20 plus 10 shipping. So this is you know, right alongside of eBay's prices. The only difference is with eBay, you get the total price plus shipping and they take all your fees out of that. And then you pay for your tag, your tag, your shipping label. So if you get it a little bit cheaper, you can make a little bit of profit on the shipping. Poshmark keeps all the shipping and just takes the fees out of what the buyer paid you. Um, and their fees are 20%. eBay's are less, but you also have promoted listings and you have a store fee. I think it all comes out the same. More Levi's. These are men's 550 relaxed size 44. I like Levi's and I cannot lie. I love the 550s, especially for men. Universal standard. So this is a poopy brand, but new with tags. Came in a thread up box. New with tags. It's a good size. So I went ahead and listed them and I asked for $29 and that's what I got. Why am I want to bet a butt? Why am I as a brand to avoid unless you find the want to bet a butts? And they typically come in junior sizes and they're going to be less than a pound. So if you sell them on eBay, they're cheaper to ship. They do sell pretty quickly. Um, they sell more quickly and for more money than regular YMI. And like I said, I avoid YMI. I think it's a poop brand, unless I find the one of Betta Butts. These sold for 17. And then we had a couple of bundles sell last month, which is always a good thing. We have American Eagle jeans here. We have two pairs of men's jeans and you can see we made $24 for both pairs that they bought together. I was going to show you. These are men's, the straight flex. Straight jeans. And then these are also flex as well. Next level flex. And then we had a bundle. This one was kind of weird. They bought two bundles of Beanie Babies lots and a Wrangler shirt. So let's just open these in new tabs so we can take a look. I was just showing you the picture. Okay, let's open it like this. So we have a Beanie Babies lot of two lions and a leopard. If you hadn't heard, a couple months ago, I decided to try the Goodwill Blue Box plush lot. And my entire box was Beanie Babies. And I'm going to recoup my money. I'm going to make my money back. So I did sit one day while I was watching a movie. Um, it didn't take me very long. It was not a waste of time because I'm going to get every little bit I can out of that box to make my money back and some profit. So, you know, just while I was watching a movie on my downtime, I went ahead and photographed all the Beanie Babies. I lotted a lot of them up. Like, these are all big cats. And... Here's some small cats. So somebody was a cat lover. <laughs> Here's a calico and a gray striped. So this bundle, they got the three, five Beanie Babies and this Wrangler shirt. Pearl Snap. Men's extra large flannel. And you can see on that one, we profited 24. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything in this video or reselling in general, let me know down below. Until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.